Hi! In this video, I'll be doing a modified bloom coming up. Hi, my name is Susan King. I'm a full time artist, and if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be doing a modified bloom and I'm going to be um, doing it mostly in reds. I am adding reflex orange in it too, but um, it's going to be mostly reds. So let's get started. Welcome back. These are the paints that I'm using today. This one is um, Amsterdam Pyrol Red and I've got uh, reflex orange. I've got Permanent Red Violet, Amsterdam, this is Basics, Liquitec Basics, Quidacodon Magenta, and I've got jo, jo Sonia Burgundy. I will be also using Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, White Pearl, in the mix as well. And my cell activator is going to be Amsterdam Black Oxide and Australian Floetrol. Here it is. All right. Okay, I've already added my uh, pillow paint on to save time um, because my battery in my one camera uh, doesn't last very long, so I have to try and hurry. Um, Lately, my videos have been long, um, and my camera shuts off before it's over, so since I've been doing these um, modified blooms. First color I'm going to add is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. Yeah, so my videos have been too long, so my camera shuts off. So I'm trying to make them a little bit shorter. So hopefully, um, yeah, if you think they're too long, because they have been really long lately, uh, let me know in the comments below my video whether you think they're too long, I should shorten them a bit. I'm trying, I'm trying to, oh, that color there I just did. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Um, oh dear, what was it? Oh, I did tell you. I'm losing it. This one here is burgundy. So I think I should put some orange in, in here. This is uh, Reflex Orange by Amsterdam. The other two were also... No. The Burgundy was um, Josonia. And the other one was Amsterdam. Most of them are Amsterdam, except for Josonia. Okay. I think I'm adding too much paint as usual. Uh, Red Violet... Kodakrodon. I've got the Kodakrodon Magenta now. Actually, this is Basics. I did the Burgundy. I'm doing the red now, the Pyrrol Red, Amsterdam. to put some uh, white pearl. This is Rust-Oleum white pearl um, metallic over top. And I'm going to add a little bit more pyro red. I have to put something over that white. I'm going to put some magenta over it. And 
more than likely too many colors, but okay, I'm going to put the um, cell activator on and it is black. Okay, I'm going to blow it now. That's amazing. That's amazing the cells I got for this. All right, going to move the camera. Pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to modify this. What I'm going to do first before I do that is I'm going to add a little bit more paint just on the corners. Here we go. I'm gonna try and break this up a bit, this black, big black mark. Oh, I gotta get a napkin ready. Napkin ready. I'm just going to spin this a little bit to open up those lines, hopefully. No, too much. All right, I got to more do some more modifying. Kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to, um, I wish these lines would have been better in the middle, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't do very good there. Didn't do very good there. All right, I'm going to spin it a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to tip it this way, slightly, because it seems to be going to one side more. Okay, I don't think I need to spin it very much.
probably spun it too much, but I don't know what that is there. There's something there. Yeah, there is something there. Got it. Nope. <laughs> the little blob. I really like this. It's pretty. That's it. I'm not spinning or anything no more. It's starting to fall down these sides, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to do some more modifying. Oops. Okay. another blob. I'm trying to go dark into light, light into dark. Some little air bubbles here, so I'm going to try and get rid of those somehow. Just got rid of that one. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Do, 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 do. Sometimes they do not know what to do. All right, let's just got smush that one in. This one over here. Okay. I don't think I really need to do much more with this. It's looking pretty cool. Really nice. I really like it. 
and all the paint's running down the sides. Everything is fine. As I say that, I want to do more. <laughs> okay, I like how these little things look. They're so cool. Something wants me to go through this line here. And what should I do? There, that looks good. That's it. I think I need to leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it before I ruin it. So I'll be letting this one dry. And then showing you at the end of the video how it looks. But before that, I will take you down for a close-up. Pretty, pretty colors. Pinks and reds. Lots of beautiful cells and lacing going on. I love this. I love this te technique. Just love it. Okay. So. I'll be back with the dried results. Hey there. I came back with the dried results dried really nice and the um, the metallic rust-oleum pearl white kind of be, give it a bit of a shimmery look it's not too bad it really looks nice right in here and here and right here so all in all I really liked this piece it dried pretty good stayed the same as when it was wet did not change so I'll bring you in for a close-up. Some of the cells, a lot of uh, lacing and cells in this. This is really cool, this part here. And also this part here is really nice in here. Lighting is here in here is terrible. It's at night too, so I've got all my lights on and I've got a little bit of a glare. So sorry about that. Alrighty. So if you're interested in watching any more of my videos, there should be some popping up on the screen at the moment. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you in my next video. Bye bye.